Hey, everybody. My name is Mark Weishart, and I'm with Creative Thought Design, and I want to share with you today uh, about an experience that we had a couple of weeks ago with having our first family virtual funeral. Um, it was an ex it was an amazing experience. Uh, thank God I had some professionals that helped me with it. Um, I want to thank Mr. Lee Kitchen, uh, who is the magical dude. Uh, he also hosts a party every Friday night uh, called uh, Beats Party Magic on the Twitch platform. Uh, if you want to join him, that would be awesome. Um, they have a lot of fun there, and he's a great mixologist. <clears throat> anyway, um, I wanted to share with you uh, my experiences in putting this together what it took to put it together, um, and uh, s just to encourage you that doing something like this um, was a great experience. We ended up having uh, a, probably about a dozen or so, 15 people, I think it was. Um, this is Lee right here, <laughs> smilingly. Uh, even though it was a funeral, uh, Lee uh, made it a, a great experience, and he's just a lot of energy, and so it was really uh, an encouraging time. Uh, he turned it over to me, and then I said some things to the family, and uh, we got things moving um, the right direction. And then basically, we just let this program play, where my, my father preached, um, the eulogy was read, um, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll go into that in just a minute. But what I did was I found out that, uh, oh, by the way, as you can see in this picture, probably 75% of the people are 75 and older. So please understand that, um, and this is a Zoom that we did. So please understand that um, technology was not a problem here. Uh, these people found a way to get it done. And I was so proud of them for taking on the challenge. All right. So the elements that um, I found uh, that were necessary for a virtual funeral were number one, video, um, number two, audio. Um, we had to have lots of photos, um, the actual uh, casket itself or uh, what we had were ashes, uh, and then maybe some motion graphics. Uh, really a terrific experience in putting all of this together. And so let me just share that with you right now. The first thing was video. Um, and so the, the most important thing right off the bat was that I got, uh, this recorded. So I ended up taking my dad, um, putting him on a green screen and he's the one who, uh, spoke the message. Um, I ended up also, uh, doing a grave site. And so I recorded him doing the grave site. Uh, my sister, uh, did the eulogy. Um, and then there was a special that was sung. Um, there were uh, three specials in, all in all. And then my aunt sent me this fo this uh, iPhone uh, that she did uh, in Arizona. She was amazing. Um, she did Beulah Land and uh, it wasn't in her key. So we ended up raising it a key and then sending it to her. And she still recorded it. You know, she doesn't have earbuds in. She did this all from just a small speaker sitting in front of her. And it was fantastic. She did a really good job. Um, as far as uh, additional video, um, I wanted to let you know that, let's see here. They sent me 15 reels. And uh, I... Um, I have a, a machine that takes uh, digitizes uh, eight millimeter film down to uh, um, it just digitizes it uh, for to an electronic file so that you can use it uh, as an MP4. Um, and so I did all fifteen of them, and I used just a just a little tiny bit of it. But it was super nice to be able to have video of my uncle Kenneth uh, from years and years and years ago, and that made it very very special. It really did. Um, and everybody was really happy to see that. Um, uh, so green screen, uh, eight millimeter movie stuff. And then my aunt uh, had that, that offsite. Then we did audio and audio was, uh, quite varied. Uh, we ended up, you'll actually hear the soundtrack. Um, I used, uh, my sister played the organ. Um, she, and thank God what she did was she gave me a, a MIDI file. So even though she, she played an instrument that I didn't really like that well. And so I just went through, uh, it was a chord preset that we had and I just chose the instrument that I liked. Uh, it ended up being kind of a pipe organ, a little bit smoother and not quite as abrasive, but, uh, that's what we started it with. And so she gave me the introduction to the, the program. And then she also uh, played a song going out of the program. 
Um, that's, that was necessary to have. And then we had, uh, all of the, we recorded everything for special music, uh, separately. Mm, and it was, it's, it's quite extensive if you, if you have the microphones and everything, but if you want, you can just do it on iPhone. It doesn't matter. It, it's really an easy thing to do. Um, and then of course, let's see, uh, the last one was that I went into Envato Elements, which I have a subscription to. And if you don't have a subscription, I would highly recommend it for just any kind of music that you have. Um, but I went to Envato and I chose this really beautiful song to just play as the ending of all the photos we're playing through. And that was really beautiful. Um, of course we went to, uh, we had to get, uh, photos from everybody. Um, I, I had probably, I don't know, geez, uh, let's see here. I had several photos, about 65 photos to choose from in the end. There were just a ton of them. Um, and what I did was I actually, I actually chose a, um, I got a Google drive and, uh, in that Google drive, I gave everybody the link. They, they just drug their pictures into it and they gave me everything that I could possibly want. Um, they didn't have to scan it or anything. They just took an iPhone picture of the photo and sent it to me. So it was a really simple process and not a big deal. And sometimes there was too much shine. I just have them take another picture without any shine on it and they'd send it back to me. That's for the photos. Uh, the actual, uh, we had a casket. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We did not have a casket. We had ashes this time. And I, I was hoping that my, my cousin could send me like, uh, like an, a whole, a whole picture of the, um, of the funeral home. So I could, you know, put that out there for my dad to stand in front of. And this is the picture she sent me and it just was not going to work. So what I ended up doing was, um, I took this pic per picture in particular and I cut everything out so that I could just use just that. And then I went to uh, the internet and I got a table. Um, then I called the funeral home and the funeral home, the guy at the funeral home was super helpful in Wetumpka, Oklahoma. And uh, he took an iPhone picture of where the casket sits. And he just sent that to me in an email. Um, he took a couple of pictures, but this is the one that I ended up using. And then um, I put it all together and bam, look at that. Um, I ended up, uh, adding a little bit more in, in Photoshop. I added a little bit more cloth over here and then I had it hanging down a little bit more, had to darken the wood a little bit, but this is what I came up with. And I felt like uh, for what I was dealing with, I had, I really did something special. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and then we actually went to the grave site, but in order to do the grave site, I had to do something unique. I had to go to um, hang on a second here. Um, I had to go to a graveyard here and I had to actually record about six minutes of a graveyard. And as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it or not very well, but there's some guy off in the distance revving his engine, cars driving by. Um, it's, it's pretty noisy. And so what I ended up doing was, <laughs> This is where, this is where we ended up having the, the gravesite service. This is what I, the background in which I put my dad in the, uh, for the green screen you just saw. And we'll see that in just a little bit. Uh, and so, so I took this and I put this in the background. Oh, can you hear this? There we go. And I just put, uh, it's actually called Forest Day and it's birds and birds and birds. And I just put the background in there and that's what, I used as the, as the background for, um, my dad while he was doing the gravesite service. Anyway. Oh, um, so that was the gravesite service. And then there were some motion graphics that we used. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, the beginning, uh, of what this was. Oops. And you can see that this is the motion graphic as it comes towards. So the, the candles are actually flickering and burning. And, and then you can see the dust, the dust as it's moving around onto the screen and then it moves into the screen. This is motion graphics. This is something very special. Uh, there it is right there. Um, this is what I had to begin with. And when it moved, when it moved into it and to the next one, see how it just kind of sweeps into that is really beautiful. Um, there were three, um, 
three frames here and on each one the frames appeared and uh i could not get the pictures for the life of me i couldn't get the pictures to cooperate and i couldn't get them to stay still blah 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 so what i ended up doing was uh and as you just saw i ended up um just putting the pictures over the top of it and letting the the movement happen behind it it wasn't the best it wasn't incredibly professional but you know, it was, it ended up being meaningful and I could, I was able to make the pictures much larger so that people could see the faces and everything. So it was really special. All right. So that's pretty much it. Motion graphics, uh, the actual ashes, uh, the photos all over the U.S., audio and video. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually go through this with you. All right. So now uh, I got the right one. So this is the actual service itself. And I wanted you to kind of get a feel for uh, the whole, the whole thing. With my sister Becky playing the organ that I was telling you about. And we let that sit. And then here's my... And as you notice, I took that, uh, I put her in a, I cut off the edges on all sides, put her in a box. I did a little, uh, Gaussian blur on the outside and then I put some clouds behind her. And then, uh, about halfway through, I think I also put some, uh, put some crosses back there as well. Yeah, not bad for a 75 year old. Yeah. Or somewhere near that. Sorry, Aunt Krita. Uh, and then my sister Becky came and she appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> and she read the, uh, she read the eulogy. We put some pictures up, uh, during the eulogy. It's going too fast right now for, for me to stop on it. Um, and of course we used Uncle Kenneth's, uh, picture in the background there and the birth and death dates. Um, and let's see. That was just a photo. So you can, you can see that even though Becky's, um, California. reading things. Also survived. Uh, the, the audio will be off towards the end here, but you'll get the picture. Um, I actually took this photograph in St. Andrews in Scotland, um, and I just stuck it in behind uh, my mom and my sister while they sang a special, and that was the special music. And then this is my dad on the green screen. He spoke about uh, it. a message, and we put him right in front of everything and, and moved everything to the back. The minister so said, we are not just like here. he was there at the funeral home. And uh, he spoke for a while. And then uh, I think right after that, we did... Uh, we, uh, I'm also... Uh, pretty, I also produce a, a program for my father uh, called the Chapel Hour. And... Um, they, uh, in that chapel hour, we record a lot of music for the Weiser family singers. And they are, uh, my, this is my sisters here, uh, Rachel and Becky Leach, Rachel Harvey. And we, uh, we recorded this at Christmas last year and we used it because it was my uncle Kenneth's favorite song. He looked beyond my faults and saw my need, I think was the name of it. Um, and it turned out, it turned out really nicely, but, uh, we sang that, and then of course came the montage, and this was, uh, this was, oh, hold on, and this was, uh, as you can see, there were pictures involved in it. You can see the live candles moving, um, and then there was video from the eight millimeter that we played, and then we went on through, did a lot of this. Uh, well, there's still video, but then we went like left, right, left, right, left, right. And, and we were, fa I was fading, uh, everything in left, right. And it looks pretty good. And I put it, I actually put a background in, um, so it wouldn't just be black back there, uh, that matched, um, the picture of Uncle Kenneth. And so we just went back, back and forth, back and forth. And there was just a, some beautiful music. I don't know if I can get it to play or not. So then we went through the pictures and we kind of wound down on the pictures. And then uh, immediately following, you can see what we did here. Uh, my, oh, what happened, Dad? There he is. Uh, we put Dad in the, you saw the green screen earlier. I took the 
the picture that my cousin had sent me um, of the actual gravesite itself after they had buried the ashes. And then I photoshopped everything around and I just put it right into there. It was kind of strange according to how everything else is laid out in the cemetery, but, you know, you do what's necessary. So that's what we did there. Then we have... Uh, we no longer call the place I, there, of I think a, a car just drove past. Today, you can see, yeah, there it was. The cemetery. Um, and so I, I just played that People footage like it was a real thing. Dad prayed, and then we went right into the post. And immediately following, immediately following this is when we all got back together and in the Zoom meeting. And for forty-five minutes, uh, Lee was able to help us uh, manage the Zoom meeting to where people were. And the camera, of course, as you well know, if you know Zoom, uh, that whoever's talking, it just goes to that camera. And we all, uh, I just kind of moderated to make sure that everybody got their say and we, that we were able to do everything we wanted. And about 45 minutes, there was a lull. And uh, then everything just kind of uh, tapered off. And I said, okay, everybody, thank you for coming and blah, blah, blah. And then Lee kind of, uh, he broke to um, the a screen with uncle Ken is showing and some music and that was it. And it was done. So I know that's a lot, but this is like an extreme amount of information. Uh, if, if you're going to do it right. And, uh, I wanted to show you what can be done and, um, what we did uh, to encourage you that a virtual funeral is possible. And it's not only possible, but it can be very successful. So I'm Mark Weishart, and you can find my work at markweishart.com. All of my video and photographs and all that kind of stuff. I even have some animation in there as well. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at G1Creative. All my photographs are there. Uh, that is the letter G, the number 1, C-R-E, the number 8, T-I-V-E. Um, you can also, of course, find me at Creative Thought Design on Instagram. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel that you're watching this on. Um, creative thought design as well. Um, and, uh, on YouTube and Facebook, you can find my work at uh, the Chapel Hour of the Wise Art Family Singers.